Hey guys, welcome to my new vlog! So we are in Cape Town and we're about to board this amazing vessel called the Arctic Sunrise. I'm part of an amazing project with Greenpeace. I've partnered with them to help protect the oceans. This is something so close to my heart. It means so much to me. Every time I take a holiday, it's usually at a beach destination. Both me and my fiance love the ocean so much, but the ocean is in trouble and we have to do all we can to help. Um, if you guys are as passionate about saving the oceans as I am, you don't have to do anything drastic, dramatic. You can just, I'll put the link down below and you can help sign the petition. So basically what this trip is, is we're taking a sail from uh, the port of Cape Town to Mount Vema. And uh, Mount Vema is actually an underwater uh, sea mountain which usually happens from volcanoes. So we'll be doing research on the underwater sea life and see basically what's happening there. And hopefully we can use that research to submit to the UN, to the governments, to help us sign a treaty to protect the oceans. The rest of the crew from Greenpeace have been sailing or will be sailing for 10 months. I'm just joining them for two weeks. And um, hopefully to get to show you guys what's going on out there and make you realize how serious it is about like using plastic, single-use plastic, oversea, um, over overfishing, mining, all these things that are affecting, uh, uh, are affecting our climate. And it's like, it's a real thing, guys. It's like a serious thing. And I guess you should lead by example. So this is me leading by example. Just stepped onto the vessel and we're about to do a tour. And I'm gonna do the tour with you guys. Someone told me this was a holiday, they lied. We had to work. <laughs> People think captain is driving, yeah. but yeah, actually on the ship, in reality, captain is on uh, uh, sleeping. just old man in the back ship. <laughs> <laughs> so captain, captain is human. He, he should have sleep, eat, and rest, and Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have three mates, and yes. the ship is running 24 hours, yes. so we divide it into three. Yes. So first and second third mates are uh, driving and uh, ship eight hours per day instead of captain mm. uh, so captain never drives never drives he's just doing basically <laughs> <laughs> so you are second mate and she's yeah, third yeah. lovely to meet you guys yeah. so my life is in your hands yeah you're right yeah it means up to me <laughs> <laughs> so she's taking eight to twelve hour twelve uh, twelve hour shift and i no, eight to oh, twelve oh okay and twelve, and twelve to four, four. And so Good sleep. So, we so you guys can okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So there you have it. It's called. Uh, it's not a driver. It's a maid. First maid, second maid, yes. third maid. Yeah. Get with it. Okay. This is port language, not airport language. Port. I'm learning. <laughs> now we're going down. I don't know. <laughs> Today is day two um, of being on the Arctic sunrise. Sorry, I haven't been vlogging. I have been so seasick. Uh, so the cabin and the captain told us that out of everyone who's on board, 90% will get seasick on the first day. 10% of that will be sick for 
you'll see me moving now. 10% of that amount will be sick for three days and 10% will be sick throughout the journey. So I'm just honestly praying to God that I'm not part of the 10% that's sick throughout the journey. Um, luckily we are on the way to Mount Vima so I'm not really missing anything except for whale watching. But um, we should arrive there by Friday hopefully. I'm like sharp so that I can do some research with everyone and um, yeah I'll be a part of the experience and not just be in the room recovering being sick I wanted to show you the little room excuse the bed it's been a mess because I've literally been sleeping It's day four on the Arctic sunrise and I finally feel better. I didn't take any like nausea meds. Usually I've been dosing myself with that. Yeah, so by better, I don't mean I'm hundreds, but I can like maneuver around and show you guys what's happening on the ship. I'm so excited. I was afraid that I was gonna end up going home with no vlog for you, emerging. Yeah, so it's been, uh, yeah, it's been rough. I've been so safe. Ah, so sick. I've been so seasick. But it's not just me, it's been a lot of people on the ship. Um, we've arrived in Mount Vima. It took us about three days to get here. Yesterday we just did a test of all of our equipment to make sure that it's working. Um, and the divers are going out today. And I think I'm gonna get to go out on one of the boats, which is exciting. So this where I am right now is the kitchen. It's called The Mess. And I haven't really been here much. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I've been here like twice. Every time I'm here I feel so, so sick. Here's some of the campaigners from Greenpeace. What's up guys? Hey. Hi. Oh, Chris. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> but yeah, so you dish up over here. The plates are there, cups, microwave if you need. And then you can only have breakfast from 6 to 7. No, 7 to 8. 7.30 to 8 and that's it. Lunch is at 1 to 2. And dinner is at... Huh? 12 to 1. <laughs> and, dinner, and dinner is at what time? 6 to 7. 6 to 7, yeah. You can tell that I've been so sick. I haven't really been making the meals. And it's kind of breezy. We're on the deck to watch the... Divers get launched. Am I speaking the right lingo? Yeah. <laughs> Explain to you guys a bit. So it's quite complex for the divers to go down because uh, the diving team hasn't really practiced with the boat team. We're gonna have a practice round before they go down so they actually get lifted out of the water with a cage. So they need to practice that whole process of being put into the water, the divers finding the cage and then being pulled up and back into the boat. Um, so once we get that practice thing done, then the divers will actually go down for a real dive to UNC Mount Vima and capture some amazing footage. So we just have to observe and see them go down and support. I'm not a diver. If I was, I would be going down with everyone. But yeah, it's such an amazing experience to be here. Saving the planet.
This place where I'm chilling now is the lounge. Anyone and everyone who wants to relax, wind down, stretch their legs, because our bunk beds are quite like small and you don't really have room to move around. This is where everyone chills. So I took a break from the deck and I've just come to chill here. <laughs> but yeah this is where everyone just relaxes we do have a TV here and books in the library so if you are bored you can keep yourself busy Get lost on your small This is you and Vima. Yeah. Through your map so that they don't get lost. 